Hi guys, welcome to another Team of the Year video, the second video which is the confirmation of who we as a community have chosen as our starting 11 for the Team of the Year vote. Now that vote obviously gets submitted to EA Sports, whether it is the Team of the Year come Monday or whenever EA decide to drop it, time will tell. You guys have to check out EA Sports' uh, obviously channels to see what does go down. Now. Massive thank you for EA Sports for involving us in the Team of the Year vote again. Um, and I'm being a part of the EA Game Changers Network has helped us uh, be a part of this um, for the second year in a row. Altogether, as I'm looking at the vote page, you guys may have noticed, um, we've had about 64 to 66,000 votes registered on the page itself where people have gone and built their ultimate team and uh, chosen the players. Now, what happens at the end of building the uh, squad is it does actually show you the team of the year as you guys have voted. So it shows us who's got the highest percentage of the goalkeepers, who's got the highest percentage of the uh, defenders, and who's got the highest percentage of the um, midfielders and also attackers as well. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button, all that good stuff, as there'll be plenty of team of the year content coming when you drop it. And uh, feel free to leave a like on the video, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Um, also... Another special uh, shout out, as I'm going to let you guys know. The uh, box, the box which he has sent, the ballot box, there's only 55 of them in the world, as I've been told. And I, there's no point in me keeping it. I'd rather give it to one of you guys. And uh, specifically, I'm going to be giving it to one of the subscribers on Twitch um, as a winner of the January subscriber giveaway, which I'll draw on the 5th of February. So if you guys don't know my Twitch channel, there's a link down below. And uh, if you're a sub, you're going to be put in the draw and you potentially will win one of these rare boxes, which will include all the nominees as well as the pitch where you guys can put the, um, the players on and glue them on. I've actually got the team that are glued to my wall there from last year. And uh, we're going to be seeing a little bit of difference because Danny, Alves isn't even involved um, in this team of the year vote. So with that said guys, let's go and take a look at the results and see who you guys did select. So in the goalkeepers, we had five goalkeepers. We had Alisson, All Black, Courtois, Lloris and David De Gea as the selection vote. You guys, it was fun to you. I picked David De Gea as my choice um, when I built like a pre-team of the year pick um, in the last video. And I think if you guys thought that was a final vote, it wasn't. You guys had the potential to change it. And uh, from the results of the picks, guys, in the goalkeeper position, starting from back to front, we have got Lloris with 6%. We have got Allison with 13%. We have got Courtois with 20%, and then the winner is, guys, David De Gea has won with a massive 46% of the votes, and he gets selected into our Team of the Year pick. And he's also the one that I chose in my Team of the Year as well, so I was pretty happy with it, but now we're going to move on to the Defenders. So with the Team of the Year Defenders, guys, we had four to choose from out of all of the shortlisted players, which you guys can see at the bottom of the screen. Now, going through in order of selection process, we have got Hummels, who for somehow got minus 1%. I don't know how that happened. We got Vertonghen with 0%. Vashalko, Trippier, Manalas, Lovren, Gordin, and Thiago Silva all got 1% of the vote. We have got Koulibaly, um, uh, Koulibaly, Kimmich, Hernandez, the French left back, Chiellini, Carvajal, all getting 2% of the votes. We then move on to the higher three. And uh, we've got Umtiti with 5%. Jordi Alba with 7% and Kyle Walker with 8%. And that takes us on to our final four. And uh, in no particular order, guys, the first one going in is uh, Rafael Varam. He got... 18% of the votes. He was a more selected defender from the Team of the Year vote, which you guys did pick. The next is one which I didn't include in my Team of the Year vote, and it is Virgil van Dijk. He comes in with 16% of the vote, joint with another defender. But 16% is very, very massive compared to like Kyle Walker, who got 8%. So his final four have got 15, 16, and 18% uh, of the votes. So van Dijk is our second defender. The next one is Marcelo. He was the third favourite option. He came in with 16% joint with Van Dijk. Uh, 
Um, so we do get a left back choice. Um, it's looking like it is three centre backs and one left back for our defender picks, but there was no stipulation that we had to pick a right back. So Marcelo comes in to our team of the year vote. And the final one, guys, is Sergio Ramos with a massive 15% as well. Um, he comes in, he does all right as well, and that does confirm uh, our team of the year selection for the defenders. So just to recap, guys, we have got David De Gea in net. We have got um, Varane, Van Dijk, Marcelo, and Sergio Ramos as the five players selected for the defence. Um, so when he released the defenders and goalkeepers, uh, if it's the same as previous years, then five will be in it. But now we get on to probably the most expensive players in Team of the Year. It is going to be the midfielders and the attackers. Going through the nominees again in the midfielders this time round, we've got Perisic with 0% of the vote. So I've seen a few people submit the vote with him in it, actually, but he doesn't make it into ours. Casmero, Rakitic, Fernandinho, Matuidi, David Silva, Sergio Busquets, Isco, all getting 1% of the votes. Royce and Tony Cruz, the two Germans, they have got 2% of the votes. And then... We jump up to 3% with Dybala, uh, and then we jump up to a massive 11% with Paul Pogba. But that isn't anywhere near the team of the year, guys, because the three players, and we only had three selections for the midfielders this time around, is the same as the one I picked. The first one going in is N'Golo Kante of Chelsea. He had a team of the year version last year as well. He goes in with a massive 28% of the midfield votes, which you guys did choose. He goes in there straight away. Deserved position for him. Won the World Cup with um, with France. And uh, did all right in the league with Chelsea, didn't he? So uh, a deserved vote there. In at second place with 25%, is Luka Modric. I honestly thought he would be the first pick in everyone's team of the year midfield. Obviously, that wasn't to be, and he only got 25% of the votes, but it's still in the top three, and that's why he does go into our team of the year midfield. And the final one is a player from Manchester City and Belgium. It is Kevin De Bruyne. He comes in with 22%. So the difference between Pogba and De Bruyne, who was in at third place, was a massive 11% as well. Um, so the three team of the year defenders for us, uh, midfielders for us, sorry, Ah, N'Golo Kante, Luka Modric and Kevin De Bruyne. Premier League fans will be happy. La Liga fans will be happy. Real Madrid fans will be happy. And people who like rocking with France teams should be very, very happy that N'Golo Kante has gone into our Team of the Year vote. Now, the final section is the attackers. Is it going to be the same one as I chose? Now with the attackers, Cavani. He was the first shortlisted player. Minus 1%, same as Hummels. I don't know how that's happened, but he has got minus 1%. Suarez, Sadio Mane, Mandzukic, Lewandowski, Harry Kane, Gareth Bale, Sergio Aguero, all picking up 1% vote each. It's pretty low for a few of them players, but it's uh, it's noticeable. We've then got one which does surprise me, and I thought a lot of people would select him in their team of the years. It is Neymar. Neymar's only picked up 3% of the votes in the attacking voting, and Griezmann as well, a France World Cup winner, Europa League winner as well, uh, with Atletico Madrid. Griezmann only picked up 4% of the votes. We've only got three, uh, only three of these uh, uh, players to select from, so we're on to the final five. Next one, Eden Hazard, who was in this attacker's selection of votes, he only got 5% of the votes. Then, the final one who doesn't make it into Team of the Year, guys, and this was a, 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 a bit close compared to the others, it is Mohamed Salah in with 12%. Now, as a Liverpool fan... A lot of people were angry that I never put him in there. A lot of people were angry that I put Lovren in there. Same with Van Dijk, but I'm not biased. That's why I threw it to you guys. And it is the final three, which we're going to talk about now. So with a massive 26% of the attacking votes goes to Lionel Messi. He is the first inclusion in our team of the uh, vote, which we're going to put forward to EA. Um, he's deserved, uh, in my opinion as well. A lot of people, like I was messing around on Twitter and people thought I was being serious, but uh, Lionel Messi, yeah, I think I've seen him in a lot of people's votes as well, so he should be a pretty cert player to get a team of the year. And uh, Lionel Messi is our first with 26%. The next one is Cristiano Ronaldo with 26%. Joint first 
with Lionel Messi and them two have made it into our team of the year vote. I think it was a given that it was going to happen anyway. Um, and that takes on to our final player as well, which uh, I like anyway because I chose him. Um, but I wasn't really bothered if it was between him and Salah, but it is the one I chose. And that player, guys, is Mbappe, the wonder kid from PSG and France. Mbappe makes it in. And uh, as he got, guys, it was 18% of the votes compared to Salah's 12%. So 18% of the votes, uh, which you guys did vote on our link, uh, tracking link given to us by EA Sports. Mbappe does get 18% of the votes. So the team we picked was the same as uh, what I chose in the first video, apart from one player, Mtiti. He was miles down the list as well. Uh, Kyle Walker was actually over him. But instead of uh, Mtiti, which is the one I picked, it is Virgil van Dijk. He's the one who goes into our Team of the Year vote. So on the screen now, you guys should be able to see the Team of the Year vote that I am putting into EA Sports. A massive thank you again for them letting me be involved in this. I thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed being a part of it as well. Now we've only got to hope that this Team of the Year we've selected and voted for is the actual Team of the Year. If that does happen, and we have voted for the correct team of the year and that's the correct team of the year which is released by EA Sports then boom we're going to be doing a giveaway we love doing giveaways on this channel you guys want to make sure you're subscribed like the video and all that good stuff and like I said at the start if you want to be included in the ballot box giveaway go and check out my Twitch channel um, on Twitch twitch.tv forward slash bits and 87 so massive thank you again to EA being part of the EA Game Changers Network has helped me get this opportunity um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it it should be a fun period of team of the year it's one of the most uh fun promos uh, which FIFA do put out. Uh, we always open a lot of packs, we play a lot of games and hopefully we can be one of them lucky few people who are able to pack a team of the year player. So, you guys, if you need to channel, subscribe, leave a like rate and all that good stuff and uh, let me know your thoughts on the vote. Do you think it's a fair vote? Do you think this is going to be the team of the year or do you think it could be slightly different? As another Spanish community actually chose, I think it was Courtois over De Gea. So, I'd be happy with any players anyway. All these blues look insane. Let's hope they get some decent rating boosts as well. Guys, leave a like rate and subscribe now. Until next time, bye-bye.